Hello and welcome to Trade of the Week for the week starting Monday the 24th of October. Let's look back at last week's trade first and foremost and then we can move on to what we're looking at for the week ahead. We were looking for shorts in euro sterling. This is a lesson in terms of timing really as much as anything. We can see here on the four hour chart that we were looking for because of the fact that we'd seen this shallow pop. We were then looking for a potential short, but only if we broke out of this. So I was thinking, well, we could continue to climb into a deeper retracement. Um, it's a good chance that that would take shape off the back of a higher low. And then we continue to grind into this wider retracement. Well, pretty much exactly the opposite happened. What happened was we moved into the new lower low. OK, great. So it activated the trade. But then from there, we've now moved into the wider retracement. So as we can see here on the daily time frame, we've moved into this wider retracement here. So by and large, I still think that this market is likely to roll over. It's just a case of exactly how you structure your trade. And on this occasion, we've tried to get in thinking we'd seen a short term pop. But in actual fact, we were going to come into this wider retracement, which is exactly how it's played out. And now we're starting to reverse lower once again from this deep Fibonacci level. So directionally, I think I'm right, but the uh, execution didn't exactly work out on this occasion. Sticking with the currency markets, I'm going to look at euro dollar daily time frame. We can see very clearly we've got this bearish trend in play and more recently rallying up towards that descending trend line. Over the course of this year, we have struck this trend line on a handful of occasions. And you can see that we have seen very similar move back here in June to what I think we're seeing right now. So we can see here the rally back in towards trend line resistance, the subsequent sell off didn't break the prior low, the shallow retracement, and then we saw the next leg lower. So on this occasion, we've rallied into the wider retracement. We didn't touch trend line resistance, but we've come in towards this main area. I mean, we don't always touch trend line resistance. We've come into the initial pop. We've declined, haven't taken out the prior low. The more gradual slant here, the subsequent rally. Now we're starting to weaken once again from around about the 76.4 Fibonacci level. So looking for shorts in the FTSE 100, there's two different ways to be able to play stops. If I was looking for a safer bet, I'd be putting my stop above this 101.98. That would mean a stop loss of about 400 points almost. Towards the downside, you're looking at about 300 points here. So arguably, that's going to be the safer bit. Towards the upside, you can see that this parity handle is also nearby. So I'm going to take a little bit more risk on this occasion and place my stops around about here, 191 points away. So 10024. And then to the downside, we're going to be looking for, so if we've got 190 towards the upside, to the downside, we're looking for a move back into this prior low which is at 95.36, and that's around about 300 points. So it's around about one and a half to one for a short euro dollar trade.